Is there crime in Moreno Valley? Yes. Is there crime where you live? Yes. One of the most asked questions I get is, how is it to live in Moreno Valley? Is there crime? Are there nice areas to live? Is it safe to live there? Because Californians are highly concerned about their safety, especially when it comes to violent crimes. Today we are going to talk about some of the safest cities in California, and we are going to talk about Moreno Valley's ranking, compare it to the neighboring cities, and check out how safe these cities' rankings are in comparison to Moreno Valley. One thing I need to mention though is that crime is... It's everywhere! The question is, where is it more safer to live in? But first, my name is Julio Sanchez. I'm an associate broker here in the Inland Empire. And what it means to you is that I can help you buy and sell real estate. So if you are thinking about buying or selling a home in the Inland Empire, I want you to pick up the phone. Give me a call or send me a text so that we can connect and put a game plan together. Okay, so if you are ready to dive into the safest cities in California, I'm ready to start. Vámonos. If you are ready, let's take a look at some important information and find out which are the safest cities in California and how Moreno Valley rankings are compared to the neighboring cities. Make sure that you stand until the end of this video to hear how you can get a copy of this home buying guide, a guide to the home buying process absolutely free. For the purpose of this video, we took the information from the website safewise.com and their most recent publication for 2021. And you can read all of the information in more detail in their website. There are also lots and lots of information out there in the internet and you may or may not agree to these rankings or you may have better or more accurate information. But again, for the purpose of this video, we took the information from this website only. So please don't shoot the messenger. This site explains how the safest cities of 2021 were decided and to quote this site to identify the safest cities of 2021 this site reviewed crime report statistics from the fbi the safest cities rankings are intended to highlight cities with low crime rate and ignite conversation and action around how to make all cities and communities safer for the purpose of city ranking reports the terms dangerous and safest refer ex explicitly to crime rates as calculated from fbi crime data this site also mentioned that if you don't see your city listed it could be due to incomplete data or the failure to submit a report. The FBI data is just one way that cities report crime statistics and we know that it may differ from other reports a city or police department submits. But to make sure that we are comparing apples to apples, we've chosen to use this data as the basis of our safest cities reporting. Plus, this is the more consistent report available for most cities across the nation." End of quote. According to SafeWise, here are the 10 safest cities in California for 2021. And starting with number 10 is Lincoln. Lincoln is a city on the Sacramento metropolitan area. The number 9 is Mission Viejo, which is a, a community city located within the Orange County and the Saddleback Valley. Number 8 is Laguna Niguel. Laguna Niguel is a city also in the Orange County. Number 7 is Yorba Linda, which is a suburban city in the Orange County. Number 6 is Lake Forest, and Lake Forest is also a city in the Orange County. Number 5 is Aliso Viejo, which is a city in, in the San Joaquin Hills in the Orange County, California. Coming up with number 4 is Rancho Palos Verdes, which is also a coastal city located in LA County. Number 3 is Moore Park which is a city in Ventura County in Southern California. Coming up at number two is Rancho Santa Margarita, which is a city in the Orange County as well. And it is one of the Orange County's youngest cities in a master plan community. The safest number one city is Danville. The town of Danville is located in San Ramon Valley in the Contra Costa County near the Bay Area. Now, some of Moreno Valley's nearby cities are classified as follows. And remember, since these cities are nearby, we can also help you buy and sell real estate in any of these areas. Number 52 is Beaumont, which is a city on the Riverside County. Number 56 is Menifee which is a city in the Riverside County, and this city is centrally located in the heart of Southern California. Number 65 is Corona. Corona is a city in Riverside County with a large population of close to 200,000 people. Number 73 is Temecula, which is a city in the southwestern Riverside County. Number 80 is Fontana, 
Fontana is a city in the San Bernardino County. Number 91 is Rancho Cucamonga. Rancho Cucamonga is a city located on the south of the foothills of the San Gabriel Mountains and Angel National Forest in San Bernardino County. Number 143 is Paris, which is a city in the Riverside County, California. 160 is San Jacinto, which is a city in the Riverside County. And I know that you are wondering, but where is Moreno Valley and the neighboring cities? Well, coming up on number 170 is Moreno Valley. Moreno Valley is a city in the Riverside County, California, and it is part of the Riverside San Bernardino, Ontario metro area. It is the second largest city in Riverside County by population. Another nearby city is Colton, ranked at 177, and Redlands at 179, also a Southern California city. Coming down on 191 is Hemet. Riverside is ranked at number 196, and it is located in the Inland Empire metropolitan area. According to a study done on 2017 from the U.S. Census Bureau, this state consists of 57 counties, 482 cities, and all California. So there it is. These are the rankings for the cities in our local area. What do you think? Are these the correct rankings? Do you have some new information that you would like to share? So if these numbers do not or have not scared you and if you are still considering moving to the Inland Empire, the Orange Crest area, Riverside or Manor Valley, here's what I want you to do. I want you to go to my website inlandhomesonline.com, do a home search for the kind of homes that you are looking for on the price range and area that you want. On the other hand, if these numbers scare the living pants out of you and you are ready to sell your home now or may need more assistance, pick up the phone and give me a call or shoot me a text or send me an email so we can connect and put a game plan that is right for you. Or you can call or text me at the number in the description below. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And feel free to share with your friends and family, especially those that are thinking about moving to the Inland Empire or moving out of the area. Well, that is all for today. Thank you for watching. My name is Julio Sanchez, your favorite realtor, and I'll see you on the next video.